Could this mic be the best budget mic for new streamers and content creators? I think it's time to take a closer look at the Fifine K052. Hey guys, it's Forrest or Dave here. Today I've got a review of a product that has been sent to me by a company called Fifine. This is their K052 desktop USB microphone, which you can pick up for about £40 on Amazon online. I've been testing this mic out uh, for a couple of days now, and it has some features and some useful design choices that make it a really solid option for new streamers and content creators. The mic has a low profile portable design, and it's really great how plug and play this thing really is. I literally got it out of the box, plugged it straight into my computer, and it was instantly ready to record my voice, which is, it's a good testament to how simple this thing is to use. Uh, it's low profile design, as I mentioned, basically means that it doesn't get in the way of, uh, of your desk, it doesn't take up too much space. It stays fairly out of your way when you've got it sat in front of you. Like you can see here, it doesn't it doesn't block my, my sight forward. So if I'm playing games, it doesn't get in the way there, which is really nice. Now the K052 is a cardioid directional mic. So that means that basically it takes in audio really nicely from the front of the microphone. But as you move towards the back of the microphone, it blocks a lot more sound. Uh, this is really, really good because you get much less background noise. If you've got a noisy computer in your room or you've just got general background noise in other places, this will hopefully lead to you having a lot less of that actually entering the mic with that cardio design. So a nice feature on such a cheap microphone. The head of the mic sits on this uh, adjustable gooseneck system and then follows down the stem. You've got another one of these at the bottom. And this makes the, the Fifine mic very easily adjustable. You can set it up, you can move it around, get it into the position you want it to be. Uh, but it's also firm enough that once you've got it in a position, it, it will happily sit there and won't fall over. It won't move around loads if you hit it or tap it too much. So get it into a nice position and, and it will stay there. So really nice that we can just move it around and get it exactly how we want it. At the base of the mic, we have two more options uh, that allow us to control our audio in gaming sessions or during any other recording sessions that you're using this mic for. So number one, we've got the volume knob. This uh, is a really, really useful feature to have on a mic because if you're in the middle of a game session, you don't wanna be having to alt tab out of your session to turn down your mic when people say you're too loud. Instead, we've just got this little knob. You can just turn it left or right here, set it between zero and 100% and find the volume that's right for you. One small negative I will say about this mic and with this volume knob is that when it's set to 100%, which is what it was straight out of the box, uh, it is far too loud for a standard position. So if I've got this thing sat right in front of me and I'm sat, you know, your standard distance away and I'm recording my voice, it, it does peak quite a lot. You do get a lot of distortion. So when I've been using this, I've had to turn it down to about 70% or so. You can't really see any percentages on here, but about 70% round the dial. Uh, and that gets me a good level of volume. What I will say is that the 100% having it there is actually quite nice because if you're doing any kind of uh, further distance recording for your voice, so if I'm sat further back in the room, if I'm doing VR sessions, or if I'm doing maybe group recordings, then having that 100% setting is really good for that. It doesn't distort at that range uh, and means that I can get those sessions recorded quite nicely. So that's one of the, the main reasons I'm definitely gonna be using this mic more. The base of the mic also features a mic mute switch uh, with a small LED below it, which will light up green if you are letting your voice through, uh, aka not muted, and it will go red when you do mute the mic. And it's a really nice feature to have on a microphone to be able to quickly just swap between, uh, because say you're a streamer and uh, you want to quickly, I don't know, shout something to someone else who lives in your house, maybe shout at your roommate or something because you need them to, to grab you something. Uh, or if you have an important phone call, then you don't want to be having to, once again, alt tab out your game, try and find how you can mute your mic in, in, your, in your settings and stuff. You just want to have a quick button here that you just press and you're muted straight away. Also, this mic is, well, this switch, sorry, is a silent switch. So typically when you mute your mic, uh, it makes this kind of pop sound. Uh, this mic doesn't have that, so you can quite silently, quickly mute yourself, 
sort out whatever you need to, and then unmute yourself without any little pops in and out when you're doing it. So uh, I really like that feature. Now, I thought it would be useful to have some sort of comparison in this video between this mic and something a lot more expensive, which is uh, what I'm recording with right now. This is my Rode Pod mic, which I have routed via XLR cable uh, on a boom arm into a Go XLR Mini, which then goes into my computer. Now, I'm not expecting the KO52 to compete evenly with my setup but it gives you guys a point of reference to compare from. So I thought it'd be quite useful in these audio tests. Let's begin with the price. It's gonna be one of the main contesting points, especially when we're talking about a budget mic and how good a budget mic can be. This Fifine KO52, uh, I got it sent to me, but you can get this for 40 pounds or it's 39.99 uh, on Amazon. I'm not sure of the American price. You guys will have to look it up, um, but 40 quid is a really, really good price for a start off microphone. If we look at my pod mic and compare that, the pod mic itself goes for around £100. The Go XLR Mini goes for around £150. And then when you add on the, the boom arm and the, the good quality XLR cable, you're, you're hitting just shy of £300 for that whole setup. So the KO52 comes in at a tenth of the price. And if it can even slightly compare or even slightly compete with something of this price, then it's gotta be something I'm gonna recommend. Let's now jump into a mic comparison between these two mics, the KO52 and the pod mic. I'm gonna actually turn off my noise gate, which I have on for my Go XLR for this audio recording, just to make it fair so that we can compare the background noises between them. So let's take a listen. So recording number one is going to be with the pod mic connected to the Go XLR Mini. This is, as I said, a £300 setup to get this all working. I've turned the noise gate off so you can hear the background noise as it is standard before applying any of the Go XLR effects. And now this is the Fifine K052. I've got the volume set to around 50% on the, the knob at the bottom. Next, we'll go back to the pod mic and now back to the KO52. Once again, back with the pod mic. And finally, back to the KO52. Awesome. So having listened back to those mic tests, I can honestly say I'm really impressed with this thing. Um, yes, it doesn't match up to the, the pod mic in terms of audio quality. The pod mic is much better, obviously, at capturing those high ends, but this mic has some decent bass. It doesn't sound like your voice is really tinny. Uh, it also nicely captures some of those high range bits, not as much as a, an expensive mic, but yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this thing. I'm really impressed with how this mic dealt with the background noise. I've got my computer running in the background here, and as I said, I usually have a noise gate running on my Go XLR for the pod mic. But the KO52, because of its cardioid nature, uh, it dealt with the background noise very nicely. Yeah, I was on about 50% volume, but uh, and that probably helped out a little bit, but it's still good that such a cheap mic can deal with something like that because a lot of headset mics when you use them they'll just pick up all kinds of background noise and it becomes very hard in post-processing to deal with it if you took the audio from this into post-processing you'd be able to get rid of that noise really easily and still end up with a really good vocal track it would even be pretty easy to just add a little bit of equalization post-processing to this thing as well and you'd end up with a really solid vocal i'm, I'm actually really impressed so the big question at the end of this then is, do I recommend the KO52? And I can honestly say, yes, I do, especially if you're just starting off. Yes, the end game is to have, you know, one of these XLR mics on the boom arm connected to some sort of mixer where you can control everything. But if you're just starting off and you've just got something like a headset mic or you're streaming with your webcam mic or something, then you really can't go wrong with something low profile, simple, plug and play like the KO52. As I said, the only bug I really had with this KO52 was that the the volume knob is a bit too sensitive and those high ends on the volume knob just completely blow out the audio if you're anywhere near the mic. But that can be sorted fairly simply anyway. You just turn it down a little bit and then if anything, having those higher ranges is great because as I said, you can, you can do recordings from further away. If I'm gonna record VR or something, which I'm probably gonna do in the future, I can use this mic because my pod mic will not pick me up nicely when I'm on the other side of the room with a VR headset on whilst this thing will. So um, definitely worth a purchase. I'd say go pick this up definitely if you're looking to start streaming, start content creation. It's a really, really good mic, the Fifine KO52. 
40 quid on Amazon. Absolute bargain. And there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, the Fifine K052, 100% recommend it uh, for anyone starting off or if you just want another mic for kind of group recording sessions, that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna put it in the living room and use it for my new couch gaming setup rather than trying to lug this thing around. If you've enjoyed, make sure that you smash that like button below, uh, subscribe for more videos coming very, very soon and hit that little notification bell below it as well. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.